Hi folks. Wait for this to start. Just wait for a few people to come on before I make a start. Uh, really quick one tonight. Um, when you come on, say hello so I know that you're there. Um, yeah, very quick one tonight. Um, but I've also, um, I was going to do a few separate uh, tutorials for something very similar. But as I'm going on, I'll explain to you what you can use this uh, design for as well. Um, so bear that in mind and then I'll tie it into something I'm doing next week. Hi Maggie. Um, this is kind of tied in. You can use these for Father's Day because I've used, um, you know, the male orientated fabric. Um, you know, that again with a small piece you could use that. I've got some leftover sports fabric that I used for the, um, the beer holder tutorial the other week. So yeah, you can use any kind of fabric. If I just bring the camera down, um, when you come on, just say hello so I know who's there. Okay. If I just bring that down a little bit. Okay, so um, very little fabric for this. You just need a couple of five inch squares and then ideally, if you've got some wadding, um, I'm gonna cut that down slightly so it doesn't bulk out the edges. So I would say about four inches, um, yeah, by four by four for this one. Hi, Erica. Um, now, I'm not going to use, do you know what? I'm not going to use a, so bad this, I should be showing you what to do rather than just hacking it off. So I'm just going to trim that down so it fits in just nice and neatly there so we can sew our quarter of an inch seams around there. Just trim that off a little bit. I mean, you can have this the same uh, width all the way around, but when you're sewing, you know, when that comes to the end and then you're turning it through and then you want to top stitch it on a domestic machine, you will struggle a little bit. So this will help you a great deal. Um, so I'm just going to basically just talk you through. Um, I, As I said, I'm not a quilter, but you can quilt this on because obviously you can't when we're going to sandwich that together, that's just going to come off because it's not sewn on. So what I tend to do with this is I just pin it on. Make sure that you've got your quarter of an inch seam all the way around and it's kind of central. Just pin that on. And then any way you want to, if you want to go down and across or across that way or even all the way around it if you wanted to, um, just make sure that you attach this this piece to the outer piece there so it doesn't move. I'm just going to go across there and I'm not even going to bother back tacking. I'm just going to go right across. So from one point to this point and then I'll turn it round and I'll go from that point to that point just on the machine. So um, fairly big stitch. I'm using a three and a half tonight. Um, I do Maggie, yes, this this fabric is 100% uh, cotton. Um, let me see, let me show you, 100% cotton. Um, and it's 8.99 a meter and it's 150 wide I think it is so it's a fairly wide one um, so yeah I can post that out to you um, I've made a, quite a few things out of this I've made some bottle bags which I'm going to put on the page in the next couple of days for Father's Day and I made um, a shirt this week so that was quite nice so just go across just take your time take that pin out there from one end to the other I mean, you can experiment with this and do a few fancy, um, you know, fancy stitches, do some zigzagging or just keep it simple. Totally up to you. All I'm doing this for is to keep that on to make it much easier to work with. So when I pick this up now, it's just not going to fall off. OK, so I'm just going to trim those down. OK, so the other one, I actually put a piece of red um, because I didn't have... Um, as much I didn't I wanted to make one so I could put a photograph on but then I didn't have enough of my scrap because this is about using scrap you can Maggie yeah just give me um message me later with your details and I'll sort it out for you tomorrow um yeah so I didn't have enough scrap and then I thought well actually it's only for the back so I put the red on which matches this red here so use all your scrap for this um and all I'm going to do is then I'm going to put right sides together and I'm going to pin this so it doesn't move just pin it in the middle there. And then probably one there. 
and one on the other side. Now I'm going horizontally as you look at that so when I come down and sew I can take that out quite easily. So all I'm going to do now is sandwich those two pieces together. So if you see the right sides are together um, you can just see on this table I think. But I'm going to start about here sew all the way around and then stop there. So I'm going to leave about probably about a two inch gap there. So back tack here, go to the end and go round and round and round, back to here and back tack there. Now, if you sew next to the wadding that you've just created a smaller piece, then that'll give you an idea of try, kind of like a straight edge. So don't forget about, I would say about a centimetre and a half from that corner to there um, gives you a good two inches or so you don't want it too big but you want to be able to turn it through um now it's important to back tack this well because because it's so small and when you're turning it through uh you don't want it to uh, not to rip but you don't want the stitches to rip okay just down to that corner a nice easy one tonight but it's very versatile because you can use this for a few things and uh, I'll tell you about those in a minute and then just come in about a centimetre and a half or so about an inch just under an inch just over an inch and back to a couple of times and then up so Okay, I'm going to take that pin out now because you don't want to turn that through with that pin in because you're trying to get your fingers in there. You don't want to scratch yourself, which you will do. Now, normally I do the, um, when I'm turning things through, you see me doing the, the turnover. But for this, because it's so small, I'm just going to cut the ends off. Now, you want to cut almost up to the stitch, but don't cut the stitch off. And do all four corners. And, bin. and then find the opening just trim all of that off just find the opening and then just use your fingers and gently push it through if you push it through a little bit and then just pull it through with your fingers nice and gently and then I'm going to use my um, knitting needle just to poke the ends out They turn through really well, these actually. This wadding that I've got, um, I think it's eight pounds a meter and it's double width. I think Erica, you've had some of this, haven't you? Um it's it's lovely, really lovely to work with. Okay, so the, you can do two things now. You can either if you don't want a top stitched edge, you can either just hand sew that um up or you can just top stitch it make sure that you roll the edges in and that they're level as well now you can just put a pin in there to make sure that that isn't going to move anywhere and then all you need to do is just top stitch around the edge be careful when you put your pin in just put your needle in and then go a couple of stitches do a bit of a back tack and then take your needle out and then just keep checking that your bottom, the opening, the bottom is straight and the top is covered, not covered, but level with the bottom. So when you're sewing over it, it just looks like a normal seam. And if you can sew as close to the edge as you can, that will also close it up. So it's quick, if you've got loads of these to do, um, it's much quicker just sewing them up. But if you want a nicer finish, a more, um, just a neater finish without that top stitch, then hand sew it. You could do that watching the telly actually at night. I do a lot of my hand sewing at night time. Because if you've got a lot of these, um, these make great gifts. You could find, you know, like if somebody in your family likes sheep, you can make some out of sheep fabric. Um, I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fat quarters. Most of the fabric that you see on my online shop, on my Facebook shop, um, has, um, you can order that in half a metre or a metre, um, or even a fat quarter if, if I've got them cut out. 
Um, it is lovely, isn't it, Erica? It's really nice quality. Um, so you can wash them now. So if you do spill a bit of beer on them or tea on them, um, then don't worry about them. Come up, come on up Christmas, actually. You could make loads of these, absolutely loads. If you're, it is, yeah, it's a quick, really quick, easy thing. I, what's it taking? Five minutes, 10 minutes? Very quick for me, actually, even with all the talking. Um, but if you're, if you've got small kids in a primary school and they're coming up to doing, um, you know, a Christmas fair or something, you could whip loads of these out. Um, you know, maybe get four and tie them in a bow and um, donate them to the school for the Christmas fair and everybody will love you because they'll think you've, you've worked loads of hours on them. Um, Christmas fabrics, I've got loads of Christmas fabrics in. I've just ordered, placed a pre-order for some amazing fabrics. So keep your eyes open for those. I know, I mean, we're only coming up to the end of May, to June next week and People kind of go mad when they think of Christmas, but when it's fabric, you have to think about if you've got a, pro a project on the go. Um, let me turn that off now. If you've got a project on the go, um, it's all about um, being prepared and, and, you know, sewing ahead of time. These are great for little presents. Um, so, yeah, Christmas fabric's coming. Um, now, I was going to do a couple of little tutorials and then thought, well, actually, there's no point because they're very similar. You can use these as well if you have them. Say you have a load of red fabric, do all the backs red and then do two of each of this colour. Uh, not, not this particular one, but, you know, uh, say like two animal ones, two floral ones, two whatever, but do them in sets of two and then it becomes a memory game. So you could turn them over onto the onto the table with all the plain on the back and then get your kids to go which you know just like um you know the memory cards that you do so that's a nice little idea um and also if anybody's ever thinking about um oh do you know the makeup wipes with the toweling on the back so ideally bamboo toweling it's quite expensive but you don't need a lot when you're making about four or five of these um again they make lovely presents and if you put a nice cotton on the back and then the bamboo on the other side basically the concept of putting that together is 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 the same and um, just be careful with the toweling with your needle make sure that it's a, a nice sharp needle um, and I would probably I mean you could top stitch them do one and see how it is whether it goes through um, but next week I think what I'll do is a um, a, a nice um, drawstring bag so when you're making these projects even the um, the drinks coaster things you can do a couple and put them in a little bag to match for a Christmas present or for a present for someone, Father's Day. Um, but definitely the memory game and uh, also the bamboo um, face wipe things. So um, I'll do that uh, yeah, next week. So um, tutorials. OK, so now now we're back to proper work, proper work. Um, I'll be starting my lessons again next next month. Um, so sometimes they will be on a Thursday night um, and I know I do the tutorials every Thursday night so um, I think what's going to happen is I'll do them for as long as I can on a Thursday um, but what I don't want to stop because I really enjoy doing them so um, I will start probably doing them a bit random I might say I'm going to go on tomorrow or you know sort, sort that out um, yeah, you know, like maybe you nip on on a Sunday or a Tuesday. So it won't be every Thursday next month. I'm not starting till the end of next month. So I'll try and I'll try and work something else. I don't want to stop because I think these little little projects are really good for beginners. Um, and I mean, I enjoy doing them. I enjoy uh, doing the lesson planning. Um, so, yeah, I'll keep that up. Um, Maggie, can I have one meter? Do you mean one meter of this or two meters, Maggie, or one meter something else? Give me, give me a message anyway, don't worry. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that really easy, quick project. Uh, don't forget the washable, throw them in the wash and um, enjoy that. So if you make some, send me some photos and I shall see you next week. Take care. Bye.